Active Investor here bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking another look at ticker symbol HMNY, that's Helios and Matheson Analytics. The chart we have here today is a 30 minute chart. Each candlestick on this chart representing 30 minutes of trading. We go back two days here on the chart, one and two. And uh, we could have had a third day here, but we've pretty much gone past that range. So really no point in taking a look at that data. Now, I will mention the reason why I have 1520 here because the other two pivot points are updated and those are just gonna be flat. 13, 14, those are your pivot points. And then 15, 20, uh, you can't really see the number here. That's why I put it here for you guys. So 15, 20, 14, 13, those are our pivot points. Obviously we're above 13, so look for support at $13. $14 is gonna be resistance. And you can see that after hours, we do have a little trading block going on there trying to push above that 14 area. It's uh, closing right on the nose of $14. If $14 does break the upside, then we can work towards pushing towards $15.20. There's not really any resistance on the way up from there. I mean, there's intraday resistance. Obviously, we're not gonna see that on a 30 minute chart really, since we're not looking at the one minute time frame, the three or five minute time frame, for example. So we don't have the full picture of the intraday data above 15.20. But for the most part, there isn't much hard resistance on the way up there. If we can break 15, 20, there's a chance that this stock will just kind of fly up somewhere, you know, 16, 17. It's hard to say really, because we don't have that resistance level, but just know that 15, 20 breaks, we can fly up, especially since the cap on HMMY is so tiny. Let me take a look. I forget the exact numbers, but let me get that for you guys. Um, the float rather, not the market cap. Uh, the float, let's see here. Right, absolutely insane float. So float is only 320,000. That is absolutely insane, absolutely insane. So very small float. This thing can shoot up or down like a rocket. So keep that in mind. If 15, 20 breaks, you can definitely get a potential run there for sure. So let's try to break 14 first, obviously, and then we can work towards 15, 20 and our positions from there. Looking at our moving averages, you can see that for a moment here, we almost had a divergence with the 20 period moving average crossing above that 13 period moving average. Uh, didn't quite happen though. The 20, or rather the 13 period did manage to cross back above the 20 period. We had a little bit of a cross here, but uh, converged and then we had that divergence. The 50 period moving average still far below our candles. So the trend is still very far up. And what's interesting is you can see that this stock really does love the 13 period moving average. It really does bouncing off it here, testing it as resistance here and here, almost bouncing off it here, bouncing off it here, almost bouncing off it here, and then acting as resistance here and here, and turning it to support here. So 13 period moving average, super important for HMNY. 20 period moving average, also important to a lesser extent, but you can see it acted as resistance here and here and then it was acting as support here and here. So both those fast averages are super important. 50 period moving average we haven't had in play much, and I like to keep it that way because as long as that stays far below our candles, this trend is still gonna be really strong. Now, let's take a look at our relative strength index down here at the bottom, where we broke up from being oversold was the last 30 minutes of the trading period. Where did we go oversold? Let's kind of take a look, a little more there. You can see when we went oversold, we went from about $14 um, to the low of 11, it was pretty much $12. So we fell off $2 while we were oversold. And what's good is now we're not oversold anymore. We're breaking up above the 20 line in no man's land, but pushing to that 80 line. Once we break the 80 line and get really bullish, then there's a good chance that we test 15, 20 and break to the upside. So everything's looking great for HMNY. I know it's been running for days now, so it could trickle off at any time, but I do think it is worth watching again tomorrow. If you guys play it, just remember that there is a high degree of risk in a stock like this that's been overextended and running. But like I said, I do think it's worth watching. Just be careful. Anyways, guys, that's all I gotta say about this stock. I will catch you in the next video. Have a good one.